Right then guys, in this episode we are tying a PVA bag rig. First, you will need leg core leader. This is just fox leg core leader with a leg clip and then a quick change link there and your chosen lead. Normally use an inline for PVA bags but I don't have any and this works the same. And then so all you want to do is do a five tone griller knot to the end of your leg core leader on your main line and five tone griller knot is like you'll never get it undone. It's one of the best knots. Then put that to one side and you'll need your chosen braid I've just got the ESP stuff, £20 then you'll need your hooks I got size 12 mugger hooks, gardener I'm only using those because I don't have any size 8s but I've caught loads of fish on those then you'll need shrink tubing, small shrink tubing, bait stop, a split shot, small split shot. You can use putty if you want, anyone works. Size 8 swivel and uh, your chosen pop up. I just got a size uh, 10. 10 mil pop up with, I think it's fluoro. I don't know what make it is. I got given them, caught a load of fish on them. This rig is done me what 20 fish so far, and I haven't been using it for that long. And then you need your baiting needle. Right then, let's get into making the rig. First off. You will need your braid. You tie an overhand loop, just a small one. Once you've done that, trim off your tag end with a, some braid scissors. I don't know where mine had gone. Oh, there they are. Then you will get your chosen pop up. Put that on the hair. Then your bait stop. Normally use scissors but I don't want to use my blunt my braid scissors because I just use my teeth once you've done that you need then you want to get your size 12 mugger hook thread that through the back of the eye. Might need to moisten it to get it through. Like that. Put it all the way down to about there so the pop up's not very really far from the hook. You just want to hold it in place and do a knotless knot. I like to just do three with these size hooks. But you can do as many as you want. Then the tricky part is to get it back through, especially with these size
Firefox. I'll pause it until I get it back through because it might take me a bit of a while. Once you've got it through like that, you should have an aggressive kick like that. But obviously, now get your small shrink tube in and your scissors that I've lost again. Oh, they're right here. Lol. Cut. Tiny bit of shrink tube off. The end of the braid. Put it through the hole. Put it over the over the hook. Then Go and steam that over the kettle until it shrinks. I'll quickly go and do that now. And make sure you use your forceps like that so you don't burn your hand. Once you've Shrunk it. Make sure the hook's cooled down. Obviously. And it should look like that. Nice. Right. Now you get your Swivel, size 8 swivel. Thread it through the eye. What? Make it. Um. I want to make it around 9 centimetres. And then you sure you want to do is tie a five turn grinner knot. One, two, Make sure to moisten it all the time because you don't want to damage the braid. Right. Once you've done it, you want to get braid scissors and cut the tag end off. Like that. And then there you go, you've got your pop up rig. Simple, always hooks. Then your split shot or putty, whatever one you want to use. Then it together not too hard to damage the braid but not too soft it comes off and then you don't want it too far away from the hook literally a bit and then that should sit like that. 
Make sure you test it in the water. I already know it sits perfect. Because I've already tried it. So once you've done that, all you want to do is get your quick change link, use whatever quick change release you want, it's connected to your thing, clip it on, push it in, so it don't get in the way and spooks the fish. got your lead core and everything right then all you want to do is get your PVA bags I have no clue what make these are normally I use a uh, either Fox or ESP sometimes use Corda but I'm not really a fan of Corda PVA bags. Right, get your PVA bag. Get your bucket of pellet or whatever you want to stick in your bag. And then I just got this like homemade thing. It's like a copy of the Fox one because didn't really have enough money to buy the fox system bag thing so I just made one up it's got all groove and everything didn't cost me anything I just got it off an old sealer tube so you just want to squeeze that together bag in like that basically like the fox system thing like that, so you've got a bag like that, and so on there. And then all you want to do so what you want to do is just literally fill a bit of the bottom of the bag of your. You don't have to use pellet. I'm just using pellet because. That's what I've got to hand, and I normally fish with pellet. There's a bag there made up from last session. It's got crumbly and pellet, everything. I'm just using pellet on this one. Then, so you want to do is get your rig and your lead core on lead. Drop that in. Make sure it's not tangled or anything. Put it in the groove, like that. Put your lead there, hang on and pinch it so it holds together. And just fill it up. Keep filling it. Like that. And then you want to drop your lead, like that, to compact it. That's all you want to do is Put your finger in there, or if your finger's not long enough, get your four sets in. Push it down. And all I normally do is just put a couple more pellets on the top. Like that. Then all I do next. is hold tightly like that to the bag and twist like that let's get rid of the pellets that don't want to go in like that. just twist a couple times and then all you want to do 
just lick around the edge of the bag. Don't lick it too much, otherwise it'll dissolve and then it won't work. That's all I want to do is to push it like that. Quite tight. And then if you wanna if it didn't work a bit more and you still got a bit of loose PVA that you didn't lick. again and then push over like that. Hold it there a bit so you can easily tie it. Take that off. That's what the groove is in there for because you can just slide it off. Make sure you've got no knots or anything in there. Got that. So there's your pink pop up or whatever pop up you're using. Get rid of the bucket now. And so, all you want to do is tap the corners to compact the bag. So, all you want to do is lick this bit here, a little bit of it. pull and stick to the side. Uh, hold it there for a couple seconds. should stick like that and then you want to do it to the other side. Compact it. So what you did with the other side. Hold it there. And you've got your nice solid bag you can cast that well I can cast one of these a hundred yards but I'm not an expert caster so and I'm only 14 so it's not like I have a lot of power stuff and whatever you want uh, I'll just use my bait drill they, they say they're pierced perforated but I like to pierce it a bit more so it's just carefully poke holes in it obviously careful around your bait and stuff because you don't want Then you've got your solid PVA bag. I've got my old fish tank here, so I'll show you how how it dissolves and everything. Right. So there's my little fish tank. Full of water. This this is cold water. So don't fill it with like warm water, because it won't act the same. Then you've got your PVA bag. Right, I'm just going to drop it in. And then slowly dissolves and sinks. Slowly dispersed. Got pellets floating to the top, and then they slowly sink down. You got your nice bed of pellet with your little bright fluoro pop up there, and that'll be one mouthful for a carp normally. Yeah, I'll show you the top. And if a carp comes in, 
moves it a bit, like that. Not tangled, nothing. Perfect. Let's see if I... Like, the cart comes in and moves it. It's still sat there. Perfect. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and comment. And if you want any more videos of me to tie any more rigs or anything, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Facebook is just Ethan Newland. And you can message me on there or something. Or you can message me on YouTube. Or if you've got an Instagram account, I've got two accounts. One's Ethan.Newland or carp fishing underscore Ethan I think I'll put them I'll put the links in there in my bio but yeah thanks for watching guys